like a family tree. To let you, you folks know as we watch on streaming, we are going to go on to ABC7 here in just a few moments. So we will kind of reset. Uh, and as, as you watch us, you'll probably hear some things repeated. We're breaking into coverage here on Eyewitness News. As you see, a police pursuit, a suspect driving into oncoming lanes. It has been a very dangerous pursuit over the last five minutes or so. We've been watching this on our streaming channel, ABC7 Los Angeles. Uh, I'm Philip Palmer, and we're watching this vehicle. Uh, the suspect driving this car is believed to have tried to steal a catalytic converter. And a sheriff's out of Ventura County began pursuit. CHP began pursuit. As he exited at DeSoto, he became uh, trapped by a vehicle when the light turned and the vehicle got out of the way the suspect was uh, there was an attempted pit maneuver uh, and they thought they had him uh, controlled he had flipped around he drove up on an embankment uh, but was able to maintain control of the vehicle and now you see as we are watching the chase on surface street so the pit didn't work in Woodland Hills uh, but now uh, we are continuing it looks like Ventura Boulevard in Woodland Hills uh, so you see an SUV uh, behind and they're coming up on Winnetka now. The pursuit speeds are at about 50 miles an hour, so not overly aggressive, but you can see driving into the turn lanes, into oncoming traffic, the suspect showing complete disregard for those around, and we've watched this dangerous pursuit on the freeway, now on the surface streets, and you can see as congestion begins to build here, this becomes more dangerous, driving in the turn lane, as you can see, and that can always be dangerous for anybody who might not see this coming up on them. Now driving against the light into traffic through an intersection, slows down at least, but it does appear as if Highway Patrol is right on uh, this suspect who, again, uh, was part of a, a, a suspected catalytic converter theft. It started in Ventura County in the Thousand Oaks area and has now gotten its way uh, to Woodland Hills and on Ventura Boulevard. So here we are at about... 2 o'clock in the afternoon, 2.09, and traffic is going to begin to pick up a little bit as we continue to, to chase this suspect. Uh, we do not know if this person is in, uh, is in any way armed, uh, but the CHP is trying to get LAPD involved in this, uh, but LAPD at this point is not doing that. So we've lost uh, from Air 7 with the image just a second with that building, uh, but you can see CHP vehicles right on this person's uh, tailgate and we're going to see if he slows down enough to get another chance at a pit going through another intersection here the traffic has at least lightened up a bit but the damage on the 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 bumper is from the pit maneuver just moments ago so now we see the suspect in the right turn lane two officers able to block him in a little bit now we've got another pit so they're really getting aggressive here. So now we've blocked off the forward momentum. See if he can go backwards. Arms, uh, officers have pulled out their weapons. They are looking at the officer on the right looks to be less than lethal weapons, but they are telling this person to get out of this vehicle right now. So he immediately puts his arms out of the window. They are talking to each other, trying to take control of this. There is nothing behind the vehicle at this point. So there's still the possibility that this suspect could back up. Looks like more or less than lethal rounds have come up with other officers, but we don't know necessarily what they are telling him to do, uh, but they are trying to get him to get out of the vehicle, probably throw the keys out at this point. So the suspect has been pitted here a almost a third time because they pitted him twice at DeSoto, uh, but roll it looks like. So he is going to, they're going to give him the directions to step away from the vehicle. Looks like he's limping a little bit. Not sure if that is an injury uh, from the driving or if it was something that was already a pre-existing condition for this young, this person. Uh, but he is now going to show officers that he is not armed and that does look as if we have this one under control. News at three.